got another, another nice one. Yeah! Come along for an exciting fishing adventure on the Tennessee River from the shoals where we catch catfish, huge catfish, and amazing drone footage. Fish junkies, let me show you what's going on today. Uh, I had pretty good luck netting some shad. I don't know if you can see in there. I got mostly the small shad, uh, but I'm not complaining. I got a couple of bigger shad at the bottom that are still alive. I'll save them for later. But uh, let me show you what I do with these shads uh, to make small bait into big bait. So if I can only get these small little gizzard shads, um, I can make them work to catch big bait. So I take small bait and I turn them into big bait by stacking them. And I cut them so that way they give the scent off and it attracts the uh, catfish. So it's worked out pretty well for me. Um, I caught a 58 pound catfish and a 65 pound catfish um, doing this method. So as much as I'd like to throw the net one time and catch humongous gizzard shad, um, I've got to work with what I'm able to get and this does work for me. A little more work than what I want to do. Um, but when it comes to catching big fish, I'm all about the big fish, and I'm willing to put in the work to get those big fish. So don't discriminate against the small guys. 
because they will work. Alright, let's get these things faded up and get some poles in the water. Now not all my poles have uh, rattles. I don't know if I need them on all the poles. Um, you know, because I dropped six lines out in the water and this thing rattles, I mean, it's gonna attract the fish over to my area. So two of my poles have the rattles just because I'm a cheapskate and when they get hung up, then I'm losing money. And I'm the type of guy that don't wanna lose no money. So that's why only two of them have the rattles. And again, it seems to work out good for me. And as you can see, I've got these things stacked up and I took small bait into medium to large bait. Again, it is a little more work. It'd be nice just to put one piece of bait on here. But again, I don't mind doing the extra work to pull me up one of these legendary slobber knocker catfish. And as I always like to say, let's keep fishing. I really love these rods here. Um, they go down. And I don't have to worry about them. They've really worked out well for me. Let's get this other one. Again, the two back poles have the two back poles have the rattles, of course. And the other poles may have a little inline rattle, but nothing like what the two back poles have. This is what I love. I take small bait and I turn it into big bait. If you don't think it's big bait, then we'll call it medium bait. But it was enough to attract a 65 pound catfish. I got a circle hook on the bottom. And then I just got a regular cheap hook on top. And they both seem to work. The circle hook is a little harder to hook stuff and unhook it from the catfish. But everybody swears by them. So, who am I to argue with everybody? By no means am I an expert on catfishing. I've only started to figure this stuff out about a year ago. Before then, I sucked. I mean, if you looked up worst cat fisherman in the dictionary, you probably saw a picture of me smiling. But watching some videos, watching guys fish, and trying to think outside the box, I only reel up once or twice, and I'm just hanging off the bottom. Got the anchor down. And what's funny is it takes usually about 30 minutes before I get a bite. So it's like I get in the area that, you know, I see catfish, but they don't bite right off the bat, not usually. It seems like the bait's got to get down there and the scent's got to get out to um, attract these guys. You know, I don't talk too much in my videos because one, I think I suck when I talk. 
and then two, because I'm not an expert at this stuff, um, you know when somebody's really good at what they do, is they're able to teach it. And that is why I don't talk too much, because I don't think I'm able to teach it. I do show it. If you look at what I do, and you follow what I do, you'll probably have the same results as what I do. Uh, but I do know in 2024, I've got to be a little more talkative and be open with you guys, share my feelings, express myself, tell you how much I care about life. And I do care about these guys. Um, you know, when I eat catfish, um, I mercy kill them. And what I mean by that is I don't let them suffer. A catfish has a small hole in his skull and you can actually stick a wire uh, in that hole and hit their brain and put them out of their misery so they don't suffer. Um, to me, all lives matter. Um, I hate to see anything suffer. These little shads are about the only thing that I know that do suffer. If I use brim or any other larger bait that's still alive, I will stab them in the brain um, before I start cutting them up. I mean, I'm, I'm not 100% what their pain sensors are in life, um, but I can tell you that if I was, a predator was trying to get me and rip my skin off of me, I would be yelling and crying and screaming like a little girl. So I can only assume that other forms of life have the same pain sensors that we do. And we should respect all lives. Here I am just rambling on, but hopefully you learn something and you somewhat agree with what I'm saying. And if you don't agree, well, you know, it's okay. You know, you'll hear me, hear me say a lot, uh, play well with others. So we can agree to disagree and still have fun together. So I'm not a political guy, but I will say this, I don't hate Democrats um, because I'm a Republican. All lives matter. They have their own opinions. It probably works well for them and I'll let them live their life the way they want to live it and hopefully they will let me live my life the way I want to live it. I just need the stock market to keep climbing because I wonder about Social Security one day and I know it's not much money but boy you know you work so hard to save all this money and then at the end of life stock market crashes Holy moly, I'm not a religious man, but I may be going to heaven and asking God a couple of questions of why I lived so long and how I was looking forward to retiring and then have to struggle and strain in my retirement life. I hope that's not the case. I like to think that America is a strong nation and it's the best in the world. I do know it sucks that it seems like the whole world is fighting. You know, why can't we just get along? You want to live your life? Live your life. As long as you're not hurting other people, it's going to be a problem. And you start hurting other people, then yeah, I guess, I guess other people are going to get involved. But you be you. And the most important, Thing when you be you is make sure you enjoy being you because if you're not enjoying being you that's a problem you know I got news for you listen to this to heart you only got one life one life 
it's not like a video game that you can hit the uh, reset button and start all over. You better make it worth your wild. I love to catfish. That's why I try to get out here at least once a week. I know some of y'all look at my videos and say, wow, that's a month ago. Um, I'm just ahead of the game. I've always believed in staying ahead of the game. Um, I try to put out one video a week, and I had the opportunity to make three videos off of one fishing trip, and that's what I did. But even if I couldn't do that, I would still try to either go out Saturday and Sunday and make a video. That way, if I go on vacation or I have a family emergency, I don't have to worry about making a video. And it comes out once a week. I schedule it for Monday at 8 o'clock. I don't know why I did that. Um, YouTube tells me people that watch fishing videos usually don't start watching fishing videos until after 10 o'clock. But you had to pick a time, and why not start the beginning of the week with a, a video? All right, guys, I'm going to shut up and listen to my Dio music. Let me get my Dio music out. So let's keep fishing. A diggity dog, we got us a nice one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on up. Yes, we will definitely take that as a first fish. That is a nice one for a first fish. Woohoo! I didn't get my gloves out. I'm over here, little buddy. Come visit me. Come visit me. Now you're not going to open up your mouth, are you? Now here's the circle hook. 
if I can get it out. Let me get these gloves off. Here's the circle hook. It's not really hooked. And then here's the other hook. The cheap hook. So, the cheap hook actually brought the fish in. Nice! We are floating at 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Boy, you're a strong guy. Nice. All right, buddy. Let's make sure you don't have any air in your stomach. Yeah, flop around. Flop around. All right. Here's my little tube to get the air out of the stomach. Now, this is actually a tube it goes to the toilet system that actually, you know, it's flexible and it feeds water into the toilet. And what I did is I drilled a bunch of holes and of course I sanitized it. I had it in the house hall. Um, it's not used, it's new. But it's a very small tube and it works just great. Very nice. All right, buddy. Let's let you go so you can grow. Man, we are going to have an awesome day, you being the first fish. All right, buddy. Go play well with others. First fish. Let's keep fishing. What is going on, Catfish Junkie? It's your boy Jonathan here with the Fishing Condition. And I am back at it at Wilson Lake, the main body of the Tennessee River. I am fishing 75 feet deep. I am fishing close to where three weeks ago I caught a 65 pound catfish. I am fishing with fresh shad that I netted early this morning. Uh, came pretty easy. I threw the net three times and I got my limit that I needed to go catfishing today. Water temperature is 50 degrees. Air temperature is 45 degrees with a high of 59 degrees. That is just awesome for being in February. Rain forecast is none the way the guppy and I like it. Cloud cover is hardly any. We got a lot of blue skies. Perspective fish bite is a two out of four, which is average. Drone conditions are horrible. We will not be flying the drone today. I've got 12 miles per hour wind with 29 miles per hour dust. So the drone will be staying in the hangar. And probably the Guppy and I will be rocking out here in the Tennessee River. I am listening to Dio on the Spotify radio station. Um, if we take a look, here is the actual song list that will actually be played on the Dio radio station. So, just to give you an idea how Spotify works. Now this video is going to be a little bit more different. I usually don't like talking too much in the video. Um, I kind of explain that a little bit later. But I do want to give a shout out to East Tennessee Whiskers and when I started watching them, you know, I picked up on the key thing that need, that you need to be successful catfishing, you know. And I even, you know, I think last week or the week before, the guy said, you don't need a boat. And that's absolutely true. There's really only two things that you need to catch these huge, legendary, slobber knocker catfish. One is location. You need a good location where these catfish are. And then two, you need the fresh bait 
from the same body of water that these catfish are from, because that's what they're used to eating. So if you do those two things, you can catch some huge slobber knocker catfish. And I like watching these guys um, because they really got a lot of passion in their videos when they catch fish. I mean, one time you see the guy just running across the bank, going to the uh, fishing pole, um, full steam, looks like flash. I don't know if he was behind the tree dropping off some kids and he saw the pole bend, whatever. But here you see this guy just start across the camera, headed towards the, his uh, fishing rod, and then he pulls in a huge slobber knocker catfish. So these guys got a lot of passion and when they fish and they keep it simple. And if you want to catch catfish, that's all you need to do is just keep it simple. Find a good location and catch the bait from the same body of water. So I'm going to stop rambling and get to fishing myself. So let's keep fishing. Let's keep fishing. We got a good one! Love it. Ah, we're doing all right today. We're doing all right today. Now, come on, don't get all moody on me. Don't get all moody. y'all can see this here's the circle hook the nice fancy dancy circle hook and look what caught it the little cheap hook the little cheap hook <sighs> all right man what a nice one let's do the measurements Watch it, buddy! Watch it! Man, you're moody! You must be a female, because you moody! You moody! What are we looking at? About 38? 38! Watch it, buddy. Watch it, buddy. Uh, I would say 24. 24. Ouch! 
Soy Pepe. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight pounds. We'll call it twenty-seven. Hey, watch it, Skippy. Watch it. No moodiness. Man, I can't open. Look at that. He bite my finger. Man, you're moody. Ow. He bite my finger. All right, buddy. Let's make sure you ain't got no air. You're gonna have to open up your mouth. buddy thanks for visiting me you definitely made my day go have a good day I can't throw you because you got my finger Let's keep fishing. I had to move guys, it was just a little too windy out there, look at that baby, woohoo, we'll take it, we'll definitely take it, we'll end this video on this guy, oh come on back up here buddy, you ain't going nowhere, you ain't going nowhere, come on, oh look at him, he's a fighter, he is a fighter. definitely take you as an ender. Man, open your mouth. Boy, these guys got some strong jaws. Man, you tangled this up.
Boy, you got it down there deep, don't ya? Ouch! Let's see what we can do here. much you weigh, buddy. You got this all tangled up. You're not cooperating. You are not cooperating. Look at that. Guy. Got it all tangled up. Let's go to this. Pounder. We'll definitely take it. Alright guys, I'm going to end my video on this guy right here, he's got a few battle wounds, very nice fishing day today, even though it was windy, so hope you enjoyed it, if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing, and remember, play well with others, buddy, you have a good day. Yeah.